Hey, yes, good evening, YouTube. In my last video where I talked about uh, setting up your video library, I mentioned that there was some rather strict naming conventions that you needed to follow in order for Cody to be able to scan your video library and extract things like movies, TV shows, and music videos. So I'll put a link to this page. It's in the Cody Wikipedia. It says, this is the most important step to a successful library scan. And they have a section on movies, music videos. I'll mainly focus on TV shows since that's probably the most complicated. So if you click through there, it talks about naming video files, and this is what allows video files to be pulled out and recognized as actually TV shows. Then that's what populates the TV shows tab in your Kodi menu, and that pulls in all the artwork and episode information, and it's all this other stuff that gets pulled over automatically, and that's all based upon the way you name these files. At some level in your file hierarchy, you've got to have some point which everything below that point is either a movie, a TV show, or a music video. Here's my main video folder on my media server. I have a video directory. And under that video directory, I have a TV series folder. I have my recorded live TV folder. I have a movies folder. In my case, I've got a couple of TV show folders, the documentary, the science, and the TV series. But as long as everything that's under TV series is a TV series, everything's good. I can have multiple folders that are TV related, but under like the movies folder, everything under there has to be movies because I'm going to tell Cody that everything is a movie. What happens is if there's something that's not a movie under that folder, it just isn't recognized. It doesn't show up any place. So Effectively, you just have lost that uh, content. Here they say they require each TV show to be in its own folder and each file contain a pattern from which XBMC or Cody can determine the season and episode number. So something like season 01, episode 01. So the show title comes from the folder name and then the file name is where the season and episode number comes from. So you need to put all of a given show under a folder named for that show. And then under that, those files have to have the proper name. So for instance, I have my name is Earl TV program. And then underneath I have four seasons of that program and then under there I have the name of the show again which I do mainly so in Windows Media Center uh, this shows up and then the the season and episode information so that Cody can pick that up and then I also put the title of the episode in there because once again in Media Center you don't get to see any of the additional information. So in Media Center, all you see is file name. So I like to make the file name somewhat descriptive so that in Media Center, or if I just happen to be browsing a folder, I know what that is without having all the uh, metadata, the fan art and episode descriptions and all that. That's the basic idea. I try to keep mine in kind of the simple format. I have here, for instance, my TV series or TV shows, uh, TV show number one, season number one, a bunch of files, and then maybe, uh, you know, season number two and a bunch more files. So I, I try to go with just the seasons, and you don't 
necessarily need to do that, but I, I do that again for Media Center because Media Center doesn't group things by season unless I group them by season. Uh, here's a more complicated one where you have A through M and N through Z. You know, if you have, uh, you know, hundreds or thousands of, of TV shows in your library, you might need to do a more complicated set up, you know, to make it easier to navigate. This is kind of the generic format. You can have anything you want and then the season episode information and then you can actually have anything else you want and then the file extension. So, you know, in my case I had My Name is Earl, Season 1, Episode 1, Pilot for the episode title and then .avi and then they go into, you know, multiple episodes and split episodes. Uh, there's one here that talks about special episodes, and I'll, I'll cover this in a separate video. They have to be in what's called Season Zero. So you have to put things as S00 or just S0, and I like to put those in a specials directory makes more sense when I see specials instead of season zero. What you're trying to do is make this TVDB scraper which is what you select the folder content type in the previous video and that's what is doing all of this based on these file names. What I like to do is go through and fix everything in your directory structure and f naming and I'll show you some examples of things that I've run into and fixed because if you then do things right at the beginning everything just automatically gets scanned and you don't have to go back and and fix things by hand so it's a lot easier to fix things here on your main library uh, directory structure than it is to fix things later. The next couple of videos then is I'll just try to show you some examples of fixing problems with folder names and file names to get them to work with Cody, but at the same time have them still work with Media Center.